Hey everyone, I'm Clifford, and today we are going to make a January picklet. And for me, you can't say January without saying New Year, so let's get started on that picklet, shall we? So first, we are going to make some amateur for little Wilbert. Yeah, that's right. I have already decided to call him Wilbert. And we do that by some aluminium foil and some wire for the arms. I'm not that worried with the legs because he's going to be sitting flat down so the legs don't need to support anything. So right now I'm just focusing on the torso and smoothing like there's no tomorrow. Now when I had to come up with the concept for little Wilbert, I had to think about what January actually is about. And January is about a fresh start and a new year. And for me, one hell of a new year's party. So I took the party route, so to speak, and made a party piglet. And that's how Wilbert came to life. Now being the party animal that he is, I want Wilbert to be flat on his buttocks, supported with one hand while he's holding a toot horn in the other hand. I was debating for a while that he should hold something different, more fun in the other hand, but I wanted to keep it a PG, so it's going to be a toot horn. After his legs is done, you see me smoothing his buttocks before I give him a little belly button and then wrap him with some cornstarch to make him smooth. Before I go in with a few more details. Now, you see me using some cos clay and you see me use some super sculpey and the reason I switched it up is because that uh, some exposed areas, I want them to be a little more flexible because this piglet is for my mom and Somehow she always managed to break them a bit, so I want to give them a fighting chance. All that's left to do now is pierce his body with the toothpick and he's ready for the bake and while he's baking I'm making the toot horn. Now do that by taking some cos clay around one of my silicone shapers and smooth it out so it gets the right shape before I try to cut it off and gently wiggle it off. And thankfully, it worked. Now, it did not work the first two tries, but then I slapped some cornstarch on the silicone shaper and it just worked perfectly. Then it's time to smooth the head. And while I'm smoothing the head and giving it some eye sockets, let me tell you a bit more about Wilbert. Because there is more to him than just having hams that love to wiggle around to the good jam. I mean, he's a fresh guy that loves challenges. His best friend is Tom Tom, the November Piglet. I will leave a link for his video down in the description below. But while Tom Tom is a mysterious little trickster, Wilbert is more like the fun guy that everybody loves to hang around. He's the kind of guy that always has a good joke or tall tale ready on the lips for you. So yeah, everybody loves Wilbert. Oh yeah, and his favorite color is green. And that's Wilbert and his backstory. Now back to shaping the little fella. When his horn was done, I sanded it lightly to make it even before I put it in the non-existent mouth. And the reason I did that was to get an idea of how I wanted the face to be shaped and how I wanted the horn to be placed in the mouth, so to speak. But then I discovered I already knew how his face was going to be because it would look rather stupid if he was just holding the horn in his mouth. Of course he needed to blow into the horn, which means that he has to have some cheeks like there's no tomorrow. And I just had a lot of fun making this little piglet come to life. Speaking of fun, why don't you guys tell me what you like to do? If you like to make sculptures, what kind of sculptures you love to do? 
or if you like to write or do something else, tell me in the comment down below. It could be fun. You already know that I love to sculpt. I also love animals and I love telling stories, which is pretty much what this channel is about. So tell me, what is your thing? Now, we must not forget about Little Will Bird. With the cheeks in place, I smooth them and I keep fitting the horn into the mouth, making sure it looks light before I start giving his face some definition and I waste the eyebrows really high to make sure that it looks like he is really blowing hard in that horn before I moved on to the ears. Now you can't be a New Year's Eve festive party piglet without a hat. So after I placed the ears like I want them, I made a little hat and put it on before I start fiddling with the horn again. Apparently I am very fascinated with the horn. So yeah, oh my god, I just realized how sad sound. Get your mind out of the gutter, please, please do. Let's just watch me giving little Wilbert his arms, shall we? And while I'm doing that, this might be a good time to thank everyone that had subscribed, left a like, or comment, or shared any of my videos. It really means a lot to me and encourage everybody else to do just that. It really means the world to me. I want this channel to grow and I want to become better. Which is why I also would enjoy some constructive criticism for you guys, because I really want to learn. I would also like to tell you that I've gotten a Facebook and an Instagram account. So now if you search Clayfect, you should be able to find me and then you can maybe send me some of your art. I would love to see some of your art and maybe I could post it in one of my uh, videos. That could be fun. So please consider checking that out. Now back to Wilbert. Here you see me taking a long clay thingy and press it in the space between the torso and its head. And I do that to secure little Wilbert's head before I realized I have got to put some bacon bond in to the head. You know, you can never be too safe. So I do that before I place it down again. And with his head safe in place, you see me beginning to fiddle around with the last arm. And the reason I'm trying and I'm measuring so much is because it's the most difficult part. I need the arm, the mouth, the head and the horn to coexist so it looks natural. So uh, yeah, it's the most difficult task of them all. Which is why you see me keep fiddling around with it and cut it uh, a little bit and so on. Just to make it look good. I panicked a little bit about this arm because I just couldn't get it right. But as I always say, persistence is the key and there is no rules to clay. So if you need to cut something off, you just cut it off and try again. And I was so happy when I finally succeeded with that arm. Then all I had to do was place a little serpentine around his shoulders to give him some more details and make him look a little more festive before I brushed him with some clay softener and then he was ready for the oven. Now to the one of you that have watched my videos before, you guys know that I am not looking forward to the next step and that is painting. I painted Wilbert in a piglet pink and quite a little about it as I did so because I am very very tired of piglet pink I have to say. But persistence is the key and after about 7 layers of that very very pink color, I finally got a color I liked. All I had to do then was just to paint some white and start to paint the hat and the horn green. Even though I do not like painting, I do love seeing my characters come to life. And I also have some good moments with painting when I have stopped crying over the color pink, that is. 
Here, for example, I'm just painting the serpentine in some silver before I move on to something a little more fun. You see, I decided that uh, the hat and the horn should have a pattern and not just any pattern. No, no, no. I wanted to get a twirly kind of pattern. So I covered it all in masking tape before I started to paint silver over the green. And it took a lot of layers of silver to get it to cover the green, but I think the effect was just perfect. And let's not forget the lovely ASMR take I have just here. Look at it. Now, if that isn't oddly satisfying, I don't know what is. Now, I have to admit, I did get some help with the masking tape because my patient is about as patient as a five-year-old is and Mr. Clifford was there, so he helped me a bit with that. But I am so happy how it came out. After that, all I had to do was paint some details before I moved on to the eyes. Painting the eyes has always been a nerve-wracking thing for me to do, but it was pretty easy with little Wilbert here because I wanted him to look sort of crossed-eyed, I think it's called, to really get the point across that he is blowing in that <laughs> horn. <laughs> so that's what I did. After that, I just painted some shadows with a pink wash before I started dry washing his cheeks to really get the point across that he is blowing in that horn. But with all his details done, I think that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I am so very, very happy how little Wilbur turned out. I love his posture. I love his face. And I hope you like him too. Just like I hope to see you next time. Until then, stay safe and take care of each other. Bye!